I, I mean, it's so good. I actually wrote it down, Janie. I mean, hell. <laughs> I mean, I wrote this thing down. I mean, this and the catch, probably the, the two best things about the video. So, hey. Yeah. This is my first question of today is that, is that besides the, hey, I'm Jim with Burning Ambitions or MCA and you're Janie with... Egg lady um, coaching, or what do you call yourself? Really coaching and consulting. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And let me ask you this question is, and this is actually a serious question is that, so what is the difference between like coaching or therapy? My second question is what drew you to coaching? Yeah. Well, th that's a great question because some coaches don't even know the difference and some therapists don't know the difference. So coaching is never about me telling you what to do. Say if someone's feeling anxious and a therapist may say, well, the cause of that is from your childhood trauma, la, 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 and there's a whole thing. A coach would say, what would life look like if we took anxiety off the table? You see what I mean? So I ask you a question and then the answer comes from you. Okay. So it's a different way of looking at it. What I find interesting is that, that you have to really then, in your mind, you're subtly directing them or are you really like surprised on their answer i'm subtly directing them like literally like a coach would do on the side of a football game okay so like i'm listening for patterns in speech and ways of thinking and emotions and then i'm asking questions to kind of help the person lead themselves to their own conclusion it's very self-healing so you know obviously when i talked to you earlier this week is i was trying it really worked for me two ways is that you have, you know, I work with MCA and we work with the sales team and you're trying to go, what are you telling people right now to keep them motivated right now during yeah. COVID-19 or coronavirus or the I Chinese know. flu or, or whatever you want to call Whatever we want to call this. I mean, let's face it. None of us have ever been in a global pandemic. Who's to say that I'm right about how I'm handling it or how my spouse is handling it or my kids? So it's kind of like stepping back in judgment and we all know we're going there, right? Well, they shouldn't be eating that because we're in a global pandemic or they shouldn't go outside or, you know, she always does this or he always does that. There's a global pandemic. That's the fact. That's a scary fact. I mean, there's there's realities to this. And then there's the layer of catastrophe that we put on top of it. You know, like, oh my gosh, there's a global pandemic. Therefore, blah, 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 something awful. So it's kind of like catching yourself in the therefore this is happening, therefore that's going to happen. And that's where people get tripped up. It's, it's usually not ever in the, in the actuality of the situation. It's the meaning that you're putting behind it. You know, my mom is elderly, therefore, la, 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 la. Well, we don't know that yet. You got to go, whoa, let me just, wow, that was a story I was just telling myself. And then all kinds of fear gets kicked up. Yeah. It's, it's like meta thinking. It's like thinking about your thinking. And allowing yourself to have the feeling. You know, this is an excellent opportunity to, so often, you get so busy with your daily grind of work, you never get to spend time on your ultimate goal or having a true plan. So to me, this is arguably a wonderful time to get educated on something you don't know about. Um, I mean, I believe like even talking to you is like, I'm trying to go, how do I process things a little bit better than I did well, hell, 30 minutes ago. How do I take this time where I'm a little bit better read? How do I take this time where I, you know, let someone know I care about them more? Or, you know, to me, it's this is an excellent opportunity as we're on a bit of a pause to become just better. Um, and I'm not talking a lot better. I'm just talking a little better. Um, the unknown, of course, is you don't know how long you're in the pause area. And that is... That's obviously hard because that is an unknown and no one knows that answer. I think in the feeling of, I don't know how long this is going to go, there's this feeling of no progress can happen right now. And that's not true. That part isn't true. So I think in progress, if you just think about progressing, moving forward, and you motivate yourself with those questions every morning and then maybe at night you have a gratitude journal and you think, wow, you know, what can I be proud of myself today? You know what? Today I called... 20 clients. Today I nurtured 10 relationships. Today I, you know, gave my wife a big hug and I told her how much I appreciate her. Pulling in the gratitude. So in the morning setting the tone and at night being grateful for what you have done and being proud for what you've done. 
it just changes your whole mindset. Is that helpful? <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's so good. I actually wrote it down, Janie. I mean, hell. <laughs> I mean, I wrote this thing down. I mean, this and the catch, probably the the two best things yeah. about the video. Honestly, we have to have a, uh, an undying belief in in the, the human spirit that we will that we have the smartest doctors, which we do. Um, we have entrepreneurial companies that you know. I mean, hell, three weeks ago it took you six days to get a diagnosis if you had the virus. You know, sometime next week it's going to be six minutes or fourteen minutes. I mean, right. and that's in three weeks. Give it another week, and it's probably going to be in forty-five seconds or two minutes. Yeah. And and so you know, I believe in human ingenuity, and I certainly am a proud you know proud American. Thank you, Janie, very much. I appreciate it. This is Jim with Bernie Ambitions, and what is my get it on? Let's get it on. No, it's what does Kyle say? Hold on, one more time. Kyle will cut this. Let's get it on, and then he stands up, but he has a much better body than me. Ha <laughs>